comes Grant. Grant! <laughs> He's ignoring me. He's doing his circles. Doing his circles. So, what a busy week this past week was, you guys. Um, groomed dogs from Monday to Wednesday. Tried to groom Grant, and he bit me. Here's my boo-boo on my little finger. Um, but unbeknownst to me, because uh, I, I posted on Facebook the problems I was having grooming his beard and stuff and how he bit me. Um, he was having problems with his eyes, his one eye, his right eye. Um, because the following day, Thursday, he woke up squinting and acting very lethargic and shaking like he was in pain. And um, had to take him to the vet Thursday, yesterday, and found out he has glaucoma in his right eye. So that is probably why he was so ornery about getting groomed, more than more ornery than usual. Um, but when I was grooming him, and all day Thursday he acted fine. He wasn't squinting. His eye looked fine. Um, it just came on all of a sudden overnight. Um, so we took him to the vet, saw the doctor, um, got some eye drops for him. I'm having to put an eye drop in, one eye drop in every four hours. Trying to wake him up at 4 a.m. was a nightmare <laughs> because he's also taking gabapentin for the pain. Um, so he was knocked out and so I had to get him out of the crate, which he actually let me. He let me get him out of the crate, took him outside, got his eye drop in. You want out, Milo? Um, he's tolerating the eye drops good because, as you know, I already give him eye drops for dry eye. Let me stir my hamburger meat. Making some taco meat for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, you came the opposite way. Usually goes this way. You turned back around, Grant. <laughs> he uh, He's doing his circles again. He's getting around good. He hasn't been shaking. Um, he's actually keeping his eye open. Um... He squints every now and then if the light's too bright and the sun, if the sun's shining too bright. But he's opening that eye. Yesterday, he would not open that eye. He was keeping his eyelids shut. Um, yeah, so he's doing a lot better today. Um, I was thinking maybe it was the... Remember, he had an ulcer, I think. It, I think that's what it was. It was an ulcer on his eye, that same eye. And I thought, oh my goodness, did he get it back? But he was acting so lethargic and he was just acting so different from when he had that ulcer. So I knew it had to be something else. And then I was thinking, oh my goodness, I groomed him. Did I do something? But I, I knew I didn't. So I knew I got nothing close to that eye. And when I trim his eyebrows, he's always good about me trimming his eyebrows. It's weird. It's his beard that he hates. But when, even when I trimmed his eyebrows, he had no problem. Even if that eye was bothering him. So... Um, but in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, did I do something? And I don't remember. <laughs> did I nick him maybe? And don't remember, but no, he has glaucoma in that eye. So I've also got to keep a, um, eye on the left eye too, because he could end up getting it in that eye too. And from what I've read online, schnauzers are prone to this. And I was thinking, what are pro schnauzers not prone to? <laughs> Seems like every time I read up on something that the boys get, it's always, oh, mini schnauzers, miniature schnauzers are prone to this. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. That looks pretty good. I'll have to drain it here in a second. But yeah, I just wanted to give an update today since a lot of you noticed my post on the YouTube community page and on my Facebook page. Um about his eye and that we had to take him to the vet. So just wanted to let you guys know he's doing a lot better today. He's definitely not 100%, um, but he's doing a lot better than he did yesterday. It was really scary how lethargic and um, shaky he was. Um, I was really worried. I didn't know what was going on. Um, so they ran blood tests too. We did have them run blood tests just in case. 
um, and his blood work came out great, except his liver enzymes were slightly elevated. Um, and that's kind of how it's been with him um, since his gallbladder was removed, but it was nothing concerning, but kidneys, everything else looked great. Um, no diabetes, nothing like that. Um, good blood work other than the slightly high liver enzymes. So, um, he's getting his steps in. <laughs> I always say, are you getting your steps in, Grant? You gotta get in your 10,000 steps a day. He slept almost all day yesterday. So, um, he's been up a lot today, which is good, which is good. Even with having the gabapentin, cause that can cause some sedation. But even with that, he's getting his steps in. <laughs> So, yeah, um, just wanted to give you guys a little update on him. All the other boys are doing good. Everybody got groomed. Everybody's looking, looking sleek and clean and handsome. It's been nice out the past two days. We had rain for, I swear, I swear it was over a week. <laughs> it was so gloomy and rainy. So the past two days, it's been sunny and nice, and the boys have been loving it. So, yeah, and we even had snow one night. It was snowing. It didn't stick. Up north in the UP, got quite a bit of snow in areas. Um, it snowed here for a little while during the night. Uh, I don't even remember what night it was. I think it was last weekend. Um, yeah, so I was so upset when I saw the snow. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't stick. So, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to go finish my taco meetup. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Hope everybody's having their uh, Cinco de Mayo meal tonight. I went to get salsa and some cheese dip that we love from a, a local Mexican restaurant here. And um, they were so packed. Took me almost 20 minutes just to get salsa and cheese. <laughs> Everybody was getting their margaritas and their tacos and burritos at lunchtime today. So, all right, guys, we'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.